Did you ever wonder what happens after you flush your toilet? How about the water trickling down the drain of your sink? Anne Arundel County has the best trained employees and utilizes state-of-the-art facilities, equipment, and processes to minimize wastewater's impact on the environment. Let's take a look at how it works. Far above the surface of the earth, water molecules change from vapor to liquid and fall to the earth as rain. This rainwater flows down through mountain streams to a large reservoir, which serves as drinking water for the county. At this point, the water begins its return trip to nature. It drains from the bathroom sinks and flush toilets into the community's sanitary sewer system, which leads to the public treatment plant. Here, it is joined by millions of gallons of wastewater coming from other homes, businesses, industries, and institutions, and is treated by a variety of processes to remove pollutants. After treatment, the cleansed water is released to a lake, stream, or river, where it flows toward the Chesapeake Bay and the ocean. It will be used again by other people along the way for irrigation, by industry, as drinking water, or it will evaporate into the atmosphere and return again as rain in some other part of the world. Wastewater collection and treatment has been developed and perfected using some of the most technically sound biological, physical, chemical, and mechanical techniques available. As a result, public health and water quality are protected better today than ever before. Sewer systems are an engineering marvel. Homes, businesses, industries, and institutions throughout the area are connected to a network of below-ground pipes which transport wastewater to treatment plants before it is released to the environment. Wastewater is the flow of used water from a community. As the name implies, it is mostly water. A very small portion is waste material. At a typical wastewater plant, several million gallons of wastewater flow through each day. 50 to 100 gallons for every person using the system. What happens in a wastewater treatment plant is essentially the same as what occurs naturally in a lake or stream. The function of a wastewater treatment plant is to speed up the process by which water cleanses itself. Treatment usually consists of three major steps, preliminary, primary, and secondary. In preliminary treatment, sand, grit, and the larger debris in the wastewater are separated from the liquid. Screens, settling tanks, and skimming devices are most commonly used for the separation. In primary treatment, again, tanks, large rakes on the bottom of these tanks, and skimming devices are used to remove 35 to 60 percent of the pollutants. After primary treatment, wastewater still contains solid materials either floating on the surface dissolved in the water or both. Under natural conditions, these substances would provide food for such organisms as fungi, algae, and bacteria that live in a stream or lake. A wastewater treatment plant speeds up nature's process and further removes 85 to 90 percent of the pollutants. This biological process utilizes air to stimulate the growth of bacteria and other organisms to consume most of the waste material, including nitrogen and phosphorus. Chemicals are used to reduce these pollutants even further. The wastewater is then separated from the organisms and solids, disinfected to kill any remaining harmful bacteria, and released to a nearby lake, river, or stream. Wastewater treatment solves one problem of cleaning the water that is released from the treatment plant to the stream, but cleaning the wastewater also generates a byproduct called sludge. Sludge requires proper treatment and disposal and can often be reused. The end product of the sludge hauling process is a relatively dry material known as cake, which is applied to farmland as a soil conditioner. If you visit a wastewater treatment plant, take a look at the laboratory. Here, technicians conduct regular tests to monitor the wastewater entering the plant to assure that the plant is meeting its requirements for producing clean water. Samples are usually taken on an hourly and daily basis and results are reported to government agencies. At most plants, computers help operate the equipment, gather and store data, and prepare reports. There are no holidays for wastewater treatment plants. They operate 24 hours a day, every day. 
To meet clean water standards on a continuous basis, a wastewater treatment plant needs to be well managed and skillfully operated. The modern wastewater treatment plant also needs well-conceived programs for maintenance and repair of equipment, upgrading of operator skills, safety, energy conservation, and efficiency. While wastewater treatment has been practiced around the world for over 100 years, it has only been since the 1970s that national standards for clean water have been set and billions of dollars committed for the construction of treatment plants. And even though we depend on clean water every day of our lives, the overwhelming public demand for clean lakes and rivers and safe drinking water is a fairly recent development. This is where you come in. Your support for efficient wastewater treatment in your community is extremely important. Learn as much as you can about your wastewater treatment and how important it is to conserve water to keep operating costs at a minimum and share that information with your family and friends. Clean water is for everyone.